Hello my dear 6th class students I hope you all have performed fantastically in your exams Now is the time to start a very interesting topic of physics that is electricity Now children before starting do you recognize the person you see on your screen Yes he is the great Thomas Edison Now do you know what he is known for Children in 1879 he invented the first practical long lasting electric light bulb and since then our homes are bright even after sunset my dear children you must be aware of the fact that light in our homes works on electricity however they are not the only one which uses electricity our televisions air conditioners water heater fan and so on also need electricity to function children laser light or even small flash light also works on electricity now imagine a life without electricity in a world today children the discovery of electricity has helped to start a new revolution in the history of human kind okay but let's just keep the all the rhetoric talks aside and try to understand the real thing i haven't really told you what the term electricity means well there are basically two forms of electricity one is static electricity and the other is dynamic electricity for now we are only interested in dynamic electricity children from the name itself we can say that it implies moving electricity or more precisely moving electric charges okay now the next question you have will be what are electric charges children the concept of electric charges is very important in physics and it cannot be explained in a video too but I will still try to give you a short and point explanation of the concept. So let's begin. Children, there are two types of electric charges. Positive denoted by the plus sign and negative denoted by the minus sign. Okay, think of a magnet for a moment. We know that two like poles that is two north or two south poles of magnet repel each other and unlike poles attract each other similarly children like charges that is two positive or two negative repel each other and unlike charges that is opposite attract each other but do you think what exactly is a charge or in another words who actually carries these charges well these charges are carried by tiny particles with incredibly small mass and they are called subatomic particles children the positive charge are carried by particles called protons while negative ones are carried by particles called electrons There are billions and trillions of protons and electrons present in any object around us. In some objects like metals, electrons can move randomly, while in non-metals their position is kind of fixed. Hence, they cannot move freely. Children, now any appliance in our house, for example, a tube light works on negatively charged electrons works when the negatively charged electrons move in the wire in the one direction this unidirectional motion of electrons in a wire is also called electric current children these wires are made up of metal usually copper or aluminium and can you understand you can understand why why are the charges in a wire is moving in one direction or what makes the charges move in one direction the charges move in one direction in the wires because the energy supplied to them by the transformers 
So the transformer supply energy, the charge moves in a wire which in turn makes our appliance work. Children, a flashlight also work in the same way but here the energy is supplied by the two electric batteries. So to sum it all up, dynamic electricity is the flow of electric charges through conductors like say a copper wire. Children, generally when we talk about electricity or electric current, we mean dynamic electricity. Hence, we simply say that electricity is nothing but the flow of electric charges through a conductor. That's all for this video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.